This trailer had one dingy dome light that actually stopped working. So we're gonna transform it from this to this. Boom. Bought these off of Amazon for roughly about $60 and it's a 12 piece kit. I will put the link in the description below so that way you guys can purchase this exact same kit. When I tested this on the battery, these are extremely bright and the installation seems like it's gonna be very easy because it's just double sided tape that we're gonna tape up right there, right there. I've never really liked having bare wires like this. So first things first, we're just gonna put heat shrink over that to protect the wires a little bit because we really don't want anything tearing into it or nicking the wires. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this tubing and also we're gonna put some wire sleeves so that way we can really protect the wires. I start off by placing the LED center up to the trailer and then I'm noticing that hmm there is a slight arch to the cross member of the roof. Now I go ahead and place the first LED just to see how it looks and I am not a fan of having a little bit of gap in the middle because the LED is not sitting flush. So I'm looking back to see if every single one of them cross members are like that. Do I need to stagger the LEDs or what do I need to do? And then I come to a conclusion that I do not like how the LEDs are mounted, they're not sitting flush, and I'm just afraid that over time, if it loses the adhesiveness, that it could start to peel, and because it's only held on by about 40% of the adhesive, that it could fall, and I just don't want to deal with that. So I want to look for a place that is completely flush. Just removing the old light that was right here, that was the only source of lighting for this whole trailer. Uh, just kind of noticing, obviously this is a power supply for these lights. I just don't know why they use this tap to connect the two wires together instead of just using uh, like a regular butt connector or just even soldering them together or just twisting the wires together. I don't know, I just thought it was a little different, unique. Never seen it done like this, really. But hey, it works, it gets the job done, I guess. Maybe there's corrosion in there, maybe that's why it's not working. But yeah, that was the only light and then it stopped working, so that's why we're upgrading the lighting and at the same time, uh, actually trying to make the lights work in the trailer. So we got all of these lights mounted, which was the easy part. Here comes the fun part, wiring up every single one of these lights. Now, as you guys notice, it's a little staggered. And the reason for that is obviously there's that little hump in the middle and placing the lights directly in the middle would have gave us about like half an inch of space. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start wiring these up. Um, this is the power source that we have found that was um, used previously. So what we'll do is we'll daisy chain all of the connections and have it come to here. But I'm actually gonna run this wire to that corner so that way it meets over there. One solid connection running all the way along the line and we'll have everything meet over there. But I'll show you guys in a second. Here we have 
what I call the main power wire in which I have it wired to the last dome light and I kind of have it ran up there I'm probably gonna zip tie it here and then zip tie it there and this main power wire is going to run all the way to the front and we just gotta figure out a way to secure this to the trailer somehow um, I was maybe even thinking about drilling small very very small holes that the zip tie can go through and then just kind of zip tie it to the to this piece of wood or I have these little sticky things I, I think I can mount here and uh, it's supposed to hold uh, wires in place so I might I may even be doing that but yeah we just got to run this all the way down and all of these wires are going to get tapped into this. I know I could use a T-tap, but I personally don't like to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut and splice every connection. I know it's going to be, I know it seems like unnecessary work, but um, I'm not a fan of T-taps. And personally, I think that this way is just going to be more secure. All right, so this is the main power source from the trailer up front and we tapped it into this module so that way the lights are controlled by this clicker and so this doesn't have a switch and also makes it kind of convenient when your truck is hooked up and you just open the gate and use the clicker to turn the lights on before you even come in the trailer but yeah let's go ahead and tuck this in but yeah this I decided to use this module this module isn't included with the eBay LED kit, but I guess I could put this on my website so that way you guys can grab it and utilize this module with your LED kit. All right, we are all finished. This is the final result. I am totally messing around. We got to turn this light off and then I'll show you guys the actual lights that we installed. Hooked up to the truck. Let's go ahead and turn the DRLs. Give it some power. And we hooked it up to this clicker right here. Boom. Look at that. While we were working on the lights, I added some insulation here too. But, oh, gotta cut that off. But just look at the wires. We got them tucked up up there. And they run along the inside of behind the wood right there. Yep. And then obviously we got some of the wires sticking out from the controller. That is the receiver, so that's why I kind of have it sticking out a little bit. But it is so bright in here. Just look at that. Pitch black. Lights. I mean, there is not a single spot in this trailer that, that has a dark spot. I mean, I'm very, very impressed with, you know, with these lights that were 50 bucks on Amazon. We can do the strobe. Obviously, it's kind of useless to do the strobe, but it's kind of cool to have, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah, we got them all ran across. I mean, it was a lot and a lot of wiring for me, but... You guys don't have to do it that way. It was completely, uh, it's completely optional. Just, I wanted to do it that way because I felt like that was cleaner install. But you can always just run it down the line and you can just run all the wires up here to the power or just run the power all the way down or whatever. And there's multiple ways to do it. At the end of the day, all you have to do is find the supplied power from the trailer, which in this case, it was the green wire right there and you just have to wire all the positives of the LEDs to that green wire and then ground the black wires negatives to a good ground place which mine's right there so that's really the that's really all you have to do but the way I wired it uh, with the main power source right there was uh, how I thought was the most logical and clean it's installed but i'm sure you guys have different ideas and different methods but while we were doing this
One more time. Look at that. Alrighty, and while we were installing the inside dome lights, I decided to put one right there as well. I figure, you know, if you're unloading the trailer or, or unhooking the trailer or hooking the trailer even, I figure it might be, you know, nice to have some light right there. So, why not? I, was, I thought about putting some rock lights there too, but that is plenty of lighting right there for sure. Yeah, look at that. It would be pretty cool to have these installed along the bottom of the trailer. So that way it looks like the trailer is kind of floating because of the LEDs. But that is it for this LED installation for a trailer. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure to head over to JW Motorsports, cop a merch. Get a t-shirt, get a hoodie, uh, we sell Duramax stuff, we sell kryptonite parts, air dogs, anything you need, train horns, uh, onboard air system, make sure to go check it out. That's one of the best ways you guys can help support the business. But as always, let me know in the comments below if this helped you guys out. Let me know what, what something differently you would have done.